Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Uh, we're not gonna let Grunty get her revenge because that's the point of the game, otherwise, we wouldn't be playing it, I assume. In fact, that's the thing, like, like in terms of game logic, like, well, why doesn't Bowser just, uh, be smart and not let Mario get advantages of him by, like, putting stupid things, or, like, why does Ganon put all the keys in all his fortresses? You wanna know why? Because otherwise, you wouldn't be playing the game. And as you saw, I got, uh, extra honeycomb piece last time, but, uh, this time we're going to learn a new move here, which I showed last time, but I didn't learn. Alrighty, good to see you brought enough of the glittery stuff. Uh, you should probably lay off that, Bozai. It's, it's, you're kind of acting a little weird. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to roll. So yeah, the moves in this one were rolling, uh, climbing, and swimming. So you had to learn all your moves. There's some new ones you learn and, uh, from past games. And yeah, when you get Kazooie, uh, eventually, you'll learn, uh, the moves become a little bit more complicated. Right now, it's just using the A and B buttons, basically. Later, we'll use L and R. And yeah, there's no reason for me to explain the controls, because all the characters do it for you. Let's go into this area. Bluff Barn. Blind Man's Bluff. Hit the switch. There we go. And look! It's a portal. Now, see, all the bosses in this game, you know how, like, Kazooie barely, didn't really have any bosses? You know how Tui had bosses? Well, this game is like a combination of the two. There is no bosses, but the bosses... Well, there are bosses, but the bosses are all either uh, Klungo or uh, Grunty. So yeah, you face Grunty several times in her mecha suit. Uh, there's Klungo doing... I don't know, he, he's explaining it. It doesn't... Uh, it's Klungo, what do you expect? He's not the brightest bulb. Which is the thing, is he's, the, he's not the brightest bulb, he's kind of slow. But he does. he is kind of a mechanical genius in a way. He's or in a scientific genius, even though he's kind of like a, uh, you know, slow in terms of thought process. So yeah, he kind of does the same thing he did in Tui, where you uh, he throws potions and then he puts the shield up. You just gotta be careful. Hit him three times and he's dead, or defeated. I guess would be the best way to put it. Yeah. So I, if you didn't, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it being a mid equal or a prequel to Tui, but this game is a prequel to Tui. It takes place between Banjo or after Banjo Kazooie before, before Tui. Um, basically, uh, after this game, the events to Tui will be uh, alluded to, or will be alluded to uh, playing into Tui. So this is basically while Klungo was trying to lift the rock, he decides to do this, which it works to be honest for what it is. Ready to make a bear skin rug. Well, I, I'm kind of using my skin right now. I, I don't think you want to, you know. And, oh, look, a skull. Hmm, a skull. What does that remind me of? Hmm. Yeah, those are, it's it's not mumbo tokens to my knowledge, but uh, it's basically just the same thing. It's magic. So, because it's in the past, it's quite possible that that's what uh, mumbo decided to use eventually for his tokens. But the thing is, though, the thing I'm wondering is if you... Uh, watching Kazooie, Mumbo mentions that his head was turned to a skull by Grunty and he wanted to change it back, but he has a skull here, even though I don't think at this point that uh, Grunty even interferes. So Banjo have new totem. Magic Mumbo hope this turn out. Okay, so yeah, this is Mumbo, but he's younger, basically. He doesn't look any different, but he's younger Mumbo. Um, so, yeah, so that means... Mumbo must be really ancient, and same with Grunty for that matter, because I think Grunty existed back here. So yeah, the first transformation we have uh, is, and I love Gr uh, the music that plays in this hut, is um, Mouse. I actually like Mouse. I actually look how he looks too, even on the Game Boy Advance, it looks pretty cool. So Mumbo called this Mouse. Use Mouse to squeeze into small passages. Yeah. Use A to jump and nibble things. With B, when uh, Mumbo get weak, Mumbo warn, or ah. Mumbo warned Banjo when the magic get weak, so basically it's similar to Banjo-Kazooie in that uh, aspect of when the magic get weak, or any, I think Tui does that too, but when the magic gets weak, you have to stand back. Uh, so first things first, we saw a little hole in here, let's go in here. Oh, look at Jinjo, and some notes. That's four, only one more, yeah, and all the Jinjos in each world are the same color, unlike Kazooie where they were each one different color, and uh, again, Tui had multicolors per world, but they, you had to get, there was just actually even more than there was per world. There wasn't like just five color Jinjos, there was actually like 
several. And there's uh, the other honeycomb for this world. Um, but this one has all the same ones. So this, uh, the color Jinjo for this world is orange. Let's go into this hole. But yeah, I compare this world to Mumbo's Mountain. Compared to, uh, uh, of the first worlds of each game, I could say, uh, the, uh, what was, oh, no, what was it called? It's not Aztecs, it's Maya, it's the, the Mayan level. I f keep forgetting what it's exactly called. I just played that too, and I can't remember. But, um, yeah, unlike that level, which is actually cool, it's still easy, but it's quite a bit difficult. And yeah, I went in here, uh, on purpose because I thought this hole that was a hole that you could get out of but it's not so uh, and you can't go jump through these grates so don't try it but yeah one thing that's you think well, well it's on the Game Boy Advance so doesn't that uh, make it hard to jump and see where you are well to an extent you know uh, because it's like it's kinda like a 3d render to an extent but you know it's in 2d it kinda works though similar to um, I'm trying to think um, I guess some example would be, I guess Superstar Saga has some things like that where, I mean a lot of games, oh sorry, a lot of games on the uh, uh, Game Boy Advance have 3D aspects to them that work as best as they can. And yeah, you can use uh, all the transformations in any world, just so you know. Like if you go to Mumbo's Hut, you can use Mouse in different worlds too. I don't think you have a lot of use for that, uh, some of them. Some of them you do, but uh, yeah, you don't need... Uh, it's not limited to one world like it was in the other games. Let's go into the lake. Grab the other chicken. I think it's the last one. Yep, there we go. So then we can get another jiggy from her. Do do. Grab more notes. 91. Just need to get 100. And uh, I almost got killed by these whiplash things. If you die, it's similar to Tui in the fact that you just start over. It's. Kazooie, again, I, the whole thing about Kazooie is the fact that they had the whole, you die, you actually have lives, you get a game over, you have to start from the ending, you have to, uh, each world is cleared every time you start it over. It was kind of like, like, what are you doing? Seriously. Here we go. 96. 97. 98. 99, and... 100. There we go. Well done, Banjo. You collected all 100 notes. That's gotta be a record. New record! And there's the last Jinjo. Which means... We got another Jiggy from the Jinjo Oracle. And we have the Jiggy from the Hen. That we need to get by giving her chicks back. So that's all the Jin... Or Jin am I, I'm mixing up Jinjo and Jiggy, aren't I? I think I am. Maybe, maybe I'm just losing the... F or maybe I'm not, and I'm just thinking I am. Jinjos are the little guys that, you know, say Jinjo. Jiggies are the things that are puzzle pieces that don't speak. And are inanimate. So, yeah. Which is another thing, I'm back on nuts and bolts, is the Jinjos. I looked at their models. They're just... Oh, again, it's awful. The models for... Banjo, Nuts and Bolts, I, I'm i sorry if you actually like the game, but I, I, I don't get how anyone can actually say that the models look really good. In fact, they probably even look worse, maybe not in terms of game, in game, but they look worse than the models for N64. I mean, N64 was less powerful than the Xbox 360, but seriously, it, they do. Just awful. Horrible. Uh, speaking of, well, not speaking of which, but, um... Pokemon Heart Gold, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which I'm probably gonna get, uh, is uh, I'm not sure why that made me remind me, or why speaking about nuts and bolts, horrible characters, that made me remind me of uh, this. But um, it's coming out on March 14th, which happens to be my birthday, which is awesome. Uh, so a little birthday present for me. And last jiggy, that's the end of this world. We're done with Cliffside Farms. I think it's called Cliffside Farms. We just, yeah, it has to be Cliffside Farms. I didn't actually check. In fact, we'll look here, because I'm looking at the totals. Cliffside Farms, maybe? Cliff Farm, just Cliff Farm. So just Cliff Farms. Uh, this has been Make 400, reminding you to go do a jigsaw puzzle.